Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to introduce you to something game changing for all do-it-yourself projects. Actually, Proxon has a product called FF230 Milink Machine, which already complete Milink Machine included PF230 and KT230, plus a fine adjustments apparatus with it. I'm suggest you to buy complete system, but in my case, it was cheaper for me to buy separate. But it look like I will need fine adjustment apparatus in the future, which is expensive for now. But maybe I will do it by myself in future videos. Now I'm unboxing Proxon PF230 milling machine and KT230 compound table. I'm starting with milling machine. Proxon catalog, user manual and safety regulations are again on top of the box. Now I'm removing top cover. Box look very simple. Proxon the real milling head and some other equipment are in the box. There are three pieces of collet set. Two key for tightening collets, scripts for mounting to the proxon weight, a very small table to convert proxon weight to mini machine table, and lastly, machined aluminium piece for mounting milling head to the lathe. Now let's mount milling head to the proxon lathe. First, I am assembling aluminium carrier part to the back of blade. There are pre drilled plates at the back of the lathe. With two Allen screws, I am lightly mounting carrier to the lathe. Milling head will perfectly fit into the 35mm hole. Now I am inserting milling head to the hole. There is 1 mm thickness difference in end of the column. This limit it to go full way. Now I am tightening the screws. Now it's fixed. It look like this from front side. Now I will mount milling table to the late carriage. To do this I am removing compound rest. A little bit cleaning for preventing dents. I will use T slots on the compound rest to mount this plate. There are two Allen screws and two screw nuts to exactly fit this slot. Three collets in size 6, 8, and 10 comes with the watch. Now I will insert 10 mm collet to use with my 10 mm end mill. To insert collet, I am removing collet nut. I am pressing collet to the nut. It makes a thick noise and that's ok. Now inserting my end mill. Now tightening the nut. Now it's ready to use. First run. There is only one switch to turn on and off the motor. I can use this as a precise drilling machine.
split is adjusted by the belts and pulleys. Motor works very silent. There are two locking points. After adjusting the course and find the axis position, you should lock the levers to start milling. Otherwise, machine is not rigid for milling operations. Compound rest of late is now our X and Y axis. For removing ant milk, I am untightening the nut. Z axis is too low for completely remove the ant milk. So I am moving table on X axis. For removing the collet from nut, I am pushing collet through the sides and its pops. But I am not going to use this with lathe because it's not convenient to use. So I bought compound table to transform it a milling machine. Let's unbox the compound table. Proxon loves to put their product catalog to boxes. This catalog is the same with lathe and milling machine. In the box here is nothing much. Table and two knob screw. I'm just tightening the hand knob screws. Compound table has a hole on its back to fit milling head. After installing milling head to the hole, there are two set screws to be tightened. After that, it is completely ready to use as a mini or micro milling machine. Only fine adjustment apparatus is missing compared to Proxon FF230 milling machine. I will be making carbide insert tool holder as a project today with using my Proxon milling machine. Proxon has very good tools but they are expensive and you need to buy many accessories to use Proxon machines efficiently. I bought these milling clamps and will use them in my project. I also bought a precision milling machine wise. I'm very new to machining and will learn things by myself by trying. I'm fixing the vise to the table by using Proxon clamps. and scoring the faces. Even I'm a beginner, surface finishes are very impressive. After some experience, I'm sure I will do better finishes. Now I'm scoring edges. I have a rhomboid 55 degree insert and will make my holder for this. To make it right, I should give my holder 3 degree angle. To do this, I am adjusting my angular ruler to 55 plus 3 degree.
I just need 4-5 mm deep cut to the holder to hold my insert. I don't want to make any deeper since it will reduce my rigidity. Now I'm changing my end mill with drill chuck to drill a hole for the screw. I'm using my previous to made drill chuck shot for this machine. I'm inserting 4.2 mm drill bit, later I will cut threads for M5 screw. Drill bit look a little wobbly, but maybe it's because my homemade shaft. I will improve it in the future. I drilled and cut the threads. Screw fit perfectly. I'm done with my projects. I will test it in the next videos. Thank you for watching.